welcome this is Simone Linehan artist and today I've got an abstract project for you so here cutting out just a piece of cardboard just to make myself a little stencil that I'll use in a while I've got acrylic paint to my left and quite a few tools bits and bobs to my right I'm popping down the acrylic paint on an acrylic piece of paper, so acrylic painting paper, and just using the cardboard to spread that around. I just wanna cover my page. And it creates some beautiful texture too. So just adding some paint to the cardboard, doing a little swirl. So this first process is about absolutely letting go and playing, so I'm giving it a dry. So with acrylic paint, you do want to dry between your layers if you want to layer over the top. So I'm now gonna use my stencil that I made and some of the uh, plastic lace and a stencil brush just to create a little bit of pattern. So if you watch this video through, you'll work out that a lot of this background that we're creating now, we actually won't see in the final piece. So absolutely go crazy here this is time to explore and have fun and just play there is no sense of composition um, you really can just totally let go so using the cardboard through the stencil and just scraping it downwards so not upwards we'll just scrape it down and then using the positive section of the card that I cut out and a piece of fly wire again with the stencil brush I did get quite a bit of paint in one section as you can see there so I didn't get a, a gorgeous uh, fly wire stencil there but again as I said we're just creating beautiful craziness in the background using a cotton tip to add some dots with a green now also you may have noticed I'm sticking to cool colors here so the warms will come but at the moment we are just playing with just cool colors so just mixing up a bit of that blue with the white, just so I've got a couple of extra colours in there. And I wanted to tone it down and make it a little bit greener, so I've added some mustard into my blues. Getting a nice little, oh, there we go, we've got a lovely green. And using the foam brush to just create little bits and of scraping and mark making, the plastic fork, a bit of scraffito, so scratching through the wet paint using the back of the fork also. So still sticking to my cool colours, so we've just got blues and greens in there and you will see why at some point down the track. That was a skewer that I was using there. So we'll dry that off again, or let that dry a bit in a minute. Just adding some squeezy paint, a little bit more cardboard. And as you can see, this is not a painting that I would feel proud of <laughs> if I was to leave it like it is. Now using a brush and just doing a little bit of blending and carrying on. This is literally creating a background that we will not see a lot of but it's gonna create some amazing interest in our abstract painting as we go along. So there's no rhyme or reason of where I'm plonking the paint here. I literally am just playing, just intuitively throwing paint down just for fun. Having a lovely time there. Give it a little dry. So I want that to be really lovely and dry before I go with the next techniques so we're adding so I've chosen chalk because it was lighter than the pencil to create some shapes so you might be getting a sense of how this is all going to work soon now I'm choosing um, my lovely little rainbow shape um, and repeating it so every time I repeat it I'm making it smaller or larger or a little bit different to the last time that I did it so now we're going to kick in with our warm color so I've chosen my lovely pink and just painting with a brush around those shapes. So fairly basic kind of just painting technique just around the, the shapes there. Um, acrylic paint will always dry a little bit darker than what you see. 
uh, when it's wet. So just know that this will dry a little bit darker, you'll see as it, as it dries. Um, and also you can probably see there's a little bit of the background colour coming through already. And I actually really like that, and I will do another layer of the top. However, I will leave a little section, um, which you'll see as we go along, in the background. So I'm just going between my paint and my water. So just creating a really lovely buttery consistency with my paint so that it goes on really nicely onto the paper. Getting there almost to the end. So you can also see I've got more shapes on one side of the page to the other. So I, I want one section of this to be busier than the other section. So the left side will be a little bit quieter than the right side. Um, the right side I'll end up keeping that as my busier side. So giving it a good dry with the hair dryer. I'm going to create, I want to use the same pink but lighten it off. So I've just added some white and I'm mixing there with my palette knife, which is what I should always use, but sometimes I'm a bit lazy and I don't get my palette knife. So as you can see, that's quite a bit lighter, that pink. And I'm also leaving some little sections um, of the background because they're gonna be really interesting, you know, going forward in this artwork, just to have these little pops, really subtle pops of kind of pink and the background textures coming through. I'm also leaving some sections that weren't there before. So they're gonna be really subtle also. Just nice little subtle additions. Off we go around the corners. So you might notice that I'm using my brush um, on the flat side and uh, the skinny side. So just depending on what brush stroke I want. This is a nice flat brush, so it's got a very flat edge to it. So beautiful for creating lovely um, sharp edges. And as you can see, I haven't drawn in any of these new shapes. So I'm just sort of looking as I go and just making decisions about what I'll leave and what I'll take out as I go along. Um, I can take them out later if I don't like where they are. Another good dry. Right, I've pulled back some of my cool colors and got an extra cool color. Just a couple of sections that I just wanted to thicken up a little bit paint that lighter colored paint and you can see that it does dry heavier so I'm just erasing the chalk so just a really clean dry rag and I've just erased the chalk now I'm just going to add a few little bits of detail with my cotton tip so just a few lovely little dots back to the brush with a much lighter blue. So I didn't use this blue in the background color. Uh, sorry, back, background patterns. Bit of scraffito. So turning your brush upside down and using the end as a scraper. And I'm just going with this very intuitively and just letting my mind and, and heart, I suppose, guide me as to where I might like this light. Again, I'm still keeping the right-hand side of this painting busier than the left. Got the foam brush there, and I've just got a very tiny bit of the dark paint in there. So I've, I've created some darks and some lights. So if you look right through this painting, there are darks, lights, and mid-tones. So there's the final piece with a little frame around it. And if you're not madly happy with it, choose a smaller frame and you might pick out little tiny sections and that might end up being your final piece. You could stop there or you could kick in, so here I'm coming in with a mustard, so another warm color, but just adding more detail. So I'm making sure those dots that I'm going over now are dry before I go over the top of them. And to my right there and what I'm about to use are paint pens. So these are readily available from art shops and um, quite a few stationery shops as well. 
very fun. So just adding little bits of colour, but you can see I'm putting, putting them in subtle areas as well. So blue on blue. And kicking with the yellow. So this, this is highly contrasting to what else is going on in the painting. But I just wanted tiny little touches. And as you can see, it just adds to the fun. And this is my 8B pencil. And you see the way I'm holding it, that gives me the idea, it's a Stadler brand, it gives me, um, sorry, the way of uh, making thin and thick lines. What am I trying to say there, <laughs> sorry. Um, so you can see there's lots of thicks and thins. And we'll pop the frame on it again. There we go, works quite nicely. Beautiful. So I'm pretty happy with that, zoom out get a bit of a better look so there you go so thank you very much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful play with that little project and I'll see you soon bye